The truth is, if you clicked on this video, you are not the kind of person who's satisfied with a chilled existence. And there are people who are. There are people who are content with the way things are and it is good for them. But for you, as someone who is highly driven, you know you're barely scratching the surface of what you're capable of. You know you can achieve so much more and nothing scares you like the thought of wasting your potential. But that's what it feels like right now, right? It feels like you could be so much further ahead. And the reason that you're not, the only reason that you're not, is because you haven't made the commitment to go all in. So this is your sign right now to make the decision today to go all in. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my four steps to actually do that. If you don't know me, my name's Sarah. I'm a high performance coach. And on this channel, I help you take more action towards your goals in your life and your business. So if that's something you wanna do, then hit subscribe. Okay, so let's dive in to the four steps to going all in. The first one is to activate your drive. You have got to remember why you want this. Now, your brain might be telling you, yeah, I, I think it'd be good, like it'd be nice for these reasons. No, I want you to think about why you want it in the deepest way possible. I want you to start asking yourself, why does this truly matter to me? Think about your biggest vision that you have right now, the craziest, biggest vision. Like, Think about what could be possible in your lifetime if you truly committed and you truly showed up. I want you to hold that vision in your head right now of you doing the thing, speaking on stage, writing the book, having the best health of your life, doing the business that you've always dreamed of doing. And maybe it's having the relationships. I want you to just imagine what your life will be like and go to that place right now. Your future self is begging you to show up because if you don't show up, then you will never become that future self and that future self dies. They do not exist. There will be a different future version of you instead. You're gonna go off in this complete other direction, but you are here right now and you have the control to decide which direction you go in. When I think back to my past self, I owe her everything because she went all in, because she committed. She's the reason that I am where I am today. She blocked every day for two entire years. She meditated daily for a whole year. She made offers in her business for months until people signed up and she got a fully booked business. I would not be in the position that I am today if my past self hadn't made the choice to go all in. You have got to start activating that drive within you, not once in a while, not just because you're watching this video, but every single day. I want you to create a daily practice for activating that vision. For me, I journal every single morning. I write in my journal what I want. I write out my goals. I think about the results that I want to create in my life because that way I'm orienting every single morning to what I want to create. So what will be your daily practice to activate that drive within you so you never forget it. Because when you are in this state that you might be starting to feel right now where you're starting to get kind of amped up for your goals, it is so much easier to take the action you want to take towards your goals. Just getting into that zone each day will automatically get you so much closer to the goal. And you might be thinking, yeah, but there's a big risk involved if I go all in on this. And that might be true, but I want you to think about what you are risking if you don't. That future version of you, you are risking their life. You are risking never becoming them and instead going off in this other direction that you don't really wanna go on. So that is step number one, activate your drive daily. Okay, step two to going all in is to commit to the outcome. Most people commit to trying. Most people commit to doing the process, doing the actions, but I want you to commit to the outcome as if it is picking your kid up from school. What I mean by that is I want you to imagine that you've got a kid if you don't have one, I don't have kids yet, but I want you to imagine that it is your job to go and pick them up. Do you commit to putting on your shoes and getting in the car and maybe driving there and like hopefully picking them up? No, you commit to getting that kid home from school no matter what. Even if you're sick, even if you get a headache, even if you break your leg, someone is going to pick them up. A trusted adult you're gonna refer is gonna go and pick them up from school. You are getting that kid home because there is no scenario where that kid stays at school overnight. 
the outcome is what you want, not trying to create the outcome. I actually did this when I first started my YouTube channel. I had a goal to get 600 subscribers and I was like, how am I gonna achieve this goal? I had a month to get 600 from, I think I was at 480 subscribers. So I had 120 to get to. And I was thinking, well, I've tried everything already. I've already asked all the people I know and I've already basically posted in every Facebook group on the internet to ask if someone will subscribe. And I was sitting there like, what am I gonna do? But I knew I had committed to the outcome of 600 subscribers, not to trying to get 600 subscribers. So I decided I was willing to do whatever it took. And I went down to the mall and I started asking absolute strangers to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna put in a little clip right here so you can see what I'm talking about. I was literally asking complete strangers at the mall to subscribe and I did it. I managed to, on the 31st of July, which was the last day of my goal, I hit the 600 subscribers and I think I even surpassed it because I was willing to do what most people were not willing to do because I had committed to the outcome of 600 subscribers even if it wasn't going to be done in the way that you would normally expect to get subscribers. I was like right well my videos didn't do it and asking the people I know didn't do it how can I make sure this happens? How can I pick my kid up from school no matter what? The easiest way that I have found to commit to the outcome is to tell everyone. I told people on Facebook, I told people on Instagram, I told everyone, my friends and my family, that I was gonna hit 600 subscribers by the end of the month. So my reputation was on the line and it, you would be surprised. It is so easy to get yourself to do things like whatever it takes, like going down to the mall and asking strangers when you have got your reputation on the line. So if you are serious about committing to the outcome, about going all in on your goal, tell everyone. Okay, step three for going all in on your goal is to outwork chance. When I first started university, I wanted to find love. And I thought, well, the chances of me finding love are probably high in the long term, but feel kind of small in the short term. Like I felt like I didn't know when I could create it. And I think a lot of people feel like love is something that's out of their control. Like it's not a goal that you can go all in on. But I decided that I would. And I realized that if I met 200 guys that surely one of them would be a good fit and within the space of just two months i had met and talked to over 200 different guys and i found my partner who i'm still with today nearly nine years later i didn't wait to hopefully meet him to hopefully run into someone i was like you know what this is what i want i really want to have a boyfriend i want to have someone to connect with and spend my time with i'm gonna go and find them and i was very deliberate about finding and connecting with people and making it a goal to meet as many people as possible. So you have got to take your goal and figure out what the chances are that you're gonna achieve it and then outwork that chance. So if you think about rolling a die, you roll that die one time and let's say if you get a six you win, well there's only a one in six chance. But if you roll a ton of dice over and over and over, eventually you're gonna get a six. The more times you roll, the higher your chances of getting a six. So if you wanna get a customer for your business and you think, well, if I asked 100 people, surely one of them would say yes, then that is your number. Go and ask 100 people because most people are gonna ask like three people and that's when they give up. But you have got to outwork chance. You've gotta take what the odds are and calculate them and then outwork them. Now that doesn't mean that you have to push yourself and hustle yourself into the ground. You can do this in a real really easeful manner if you're deliberate about it. I didn't feel exhausted by going out and meeting all of these people when I was trying to find my partner. I just did it from a place of joy and excitement. So go and figure out what are your chances of achieving your goal and then go and outwork that chance so that no matter what, luck is always on your side. This is also how I went viral on Twitter. I posted a post that got over 7 million views and 120,000 likes and it was my fourth post on Twitter. And so people were like, well, this is crazy. That's so lucky. How did you do that? What is? What are the chances? And I'm like, the chances were the fact that I had already blogged every day for two years, that I had published content on the internet for over a thousand days before I got on Twitter for those four times and posted something. I had outworked chance. Eventually something I was going to create was going to go viral because I had done so many posts. So take your goal, calculate the chances and outwork them. All right, step four and the final step for going all in is to figure out 
what is holding you back from taking action? After coaching hundreds of people on their goals, I found out that there's only five different emotions that stop people from taking action. And the reason that I say emotions is because our emotions are what drive our actions or our inactions. So whatever emotion you are feeling is going to stop you or make you do it. So here are the five different emotions that stop people from taking action. Confusion, overwhelm, self-doubt, fear, and lethargy. Which one do you think it is for you right now? You can take my quiz that I created so that you can identify exactly which one it is for you because sometimes it's not the one that you think it is. Sometimes you think, oh, well, it's because I'm overwhelmed when actually it's because you're confused about how to achieve the goal. So definitely go and take that quiz. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can go and take the quiz. You're also gonna learn exactly how to overcome it in depth. So definitely check that out. What you might start to notice about these emotions is they actually have a domino effect. So if you're feeling confused about how to achieve your goal, you're probably gonna to start to feel overwhelmed by everything that there is to know and to achieve it. And then you're gonna to start to doubt whether you can actually do it and feel afraid about what might happen and then not really feel like doing it at all. So they kind of have this effect where if you don't solve one of them, they start to affect the other. So you definitely wanna start figuring out which one it is for you so you can start to learn to overcome it. The key to overcoming any emotion is to be able to switch that emotion. So you wanna figure out what is the emotion that you're experiencing and you can do that by taking the quiz and then you can figure out what is the ultimate swap for this emotion. And to overcome those blocks, you have to transform the emotion. You cannot stay in confusion if you want to take action. You have got to get some clarity. You cannot stay in overwhelm. You've got to find calm. So you have to ask yourself, what would be the emotion that would neutralize the current emotion that I'm feeling and make me want to take action? So if it's doubt, maybe you want to feel confidence, or if it's Fear, maybe you want to feel certainty. If it's a lethargy, maybe you want to feel energized. Find the emotion that you would need to feel and start asking yourself, what would I need to believe to start feeling that emotion instead of the one that I'm currently experiencing? I go into a lot more depth on how to overcome the resistance that you might be experiencing once you take the quiz. There's a whole video that you'll learn exactly how to overcome it. So definitely go and take that. But in the meantime, just start thinking, what emotion would I need to feel and what would I need to believe to feel that emotion? Because that is what is gonna make you want to take action and keep showing up and go all in. All right, so those are the four steps for going all in on your goal. Activate your drive, commit to the outcome, outwork chance, and then overcome what's stopping you from taking action. The fact that you clicked on this video is your sign to go all in. I don't believe that signs come from the outside. I believe they come from within. I believe they're coming from an inner knowing that you know what you need to do. So this is your sign right now to go all in on your goals. And if you know what you want to go all in on, tell me in the comments because I would love to hear what you're gonna go all in on right now. And I'll talk to you in the next video.